Well, the path to light heavyweight gold no longer goes through Poland, but Jan Bohovic still one of the best 205ers in the world. How do you think he approaches this matchup strategically here tonight? Well, he doesn't change much, right? Jan Bohovic is a powerhouse. He's a guy that possesses tremendous power in his hands, but also is really good with his kicks, as we have seen on multiple occasions. They are debilitating. He can beat you up to the point that you can barely stand. This guy has proven as he gets older in the fight game, he is still as relevant as he was the entirety of his UFC career. He's only getting better. And once again, he tries to prove he's one of the best light heavyweights in the world. And he's a man now. Jan Bohovic is 40 despite the blonde locks. This man is 40 years old, but still proving to be one of the best 205 pound fighters in the world. All right, so tonight we get another look at the decorated lightweight champion, Islam Makashev. This is one of the best pound-for-pound -pound fighters in the world. Such a nuanced game on the ground. Outstanding striker as well, and puts his belt on the line yet again tonight. Yeah, you know, Johnny, puts his belt on the line. This guy, this guy does everything so well. He's so well-rounded, he's so skilled, he's so gifted, and he is so confident in his ability to go and get you. It's that simple. I'm going to get you. I'll get my hands locked. I'll throw you to the ground, and I will make you engage with me on my terms. That has allowed for him to become the champion, and tonight he has even more of an advantage because there's the boy, Hasbula. Hasbula entrenched in the corner of Islam Akashev, and he'll probably have a photo shoot later if fans are interested. We'll see how it goes for Makashev tonight. Our tale of the tape for this heavyweight championship fight. Here's Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. <laughs> Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, presenting the challenger, John Blazkowicz. And now, introducing the champion, fighting out of the red corner, ladies and gentlemen, presenting the reigning, defending, undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world, is and there's Herb Dean. He will handle the action inside the octagon. All right, round getting underway, and we take a look at the Combat Sambo World Champion and UFC lightweight contender, Islam Akashev. What will he do in this fight? Well, oftentimes he does whatever he wants to do. Certainly he can impose his will on the ground where his game is just so nuanced when it comes to the throws and the trips and the manipulation of joints and everything else. But on the feet, in a kickboxing setting, this man has proven elite as well. A true five-tool player who many believe by year's end could just be the king of the lightweight division. And it's blocked. First takedown attempt to the wrestler here, and he's able to get the more well rounded fighter to the ground. So the striker gets a little bit off balance and pays the ultimate price. Well, we know this is where this guy wants to be. Now, his opponent is a very good grappler, but this is his wheelhouse. This is where he makes his money, and if he's on the ground on top, he is exactly where he wants to be. Landing strikes nicely here from top position. And there it is, another strike on the ground gets through. Wahovic getting absolutely worked here from the top. These are some very effective ground and pound strikes. Man, this is some serious ground and pound. He's trying to put this dude's head like through the canvas. He's wanted a better ground and pound. Takes his back now. 
While the ground and pound is there once again, strong work here by Islam Akasha. Oh, this is where you don't want to be, though. He's got that arm triangle. Watch him pass to the opposite side. It looks real tight. He'll drop his weight and try to finish his technique. Oh, gives up on the submission now. We'll see where he goes from here. Nicely done. Pretty good work with the ground and pound here by Islam Makashi. Another one. I mean, he cannot miss from the top position. Nice side there by the champ. Makashev's back in full now. Oh, huge pop from the crowd as the fighters get back up to their feet. I mean, you and I love a good grappling match, but these fighters came to see knockouts. Yeah, the, the fans came to see them knock each other out, and that's what they're going to get. All the grappling was beautiful to watch, John, but ultimately, it is the striking that people show up for. Swing and a miss with that straight left hand. See what he can do here on the clinch. Checks that leg kick. 15 seconds. Oh, really making good use of his reach advantage as he lands the straight punch there. Oh, he jumped guillotine right away. Oh, and there's the horn at the end of the round. So the fighter was really caught in the submission there just as the horn sounded. Safe to say he was saved by the bell there. So back to the stools they go. 60 seconds to recover here. We're going to fight on, ladies and gentlemen. Another round coming up. All right, now we take a look back at some of the action in that previous round, DC. A lot to like on both sides, Will. I mean, both were intent on going forward. And what happens when nobody wants to take a step back? They meet in the middle. That's exactly what they did, and they both found success over the course of that round. All right, so there's the end of the round. It had a little bit of everything and nearly a finish due to a submission. But you see, when you're on the ground with him, you're in danger. You're constantly under attack. There is no place to rest. Or you can rest with most guys, you gotta be very aware of this guy, or he's gonna catch you in something that you can't get out of. Clean punch. Right, single collar time now. Oh, good work with the jab there. I get one, I take one. That is a huge shot right there, DC. You don't want to eat too many more of those. No, and he needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. And makes his in a takedown. Why not? Oh, he's got a choke. Ooh, arm triangles in tight. It's getting in very tight. Submission defense. A lot of top pressure being applied here. Trying to pass the guard here, but a nice job by the bottom fighter defensive. Bottom fighter did a fantastic job of following with his hips, making sure he blocked any attempt to get past his guard. Wachowicz is in half court. Job not only reversing the position but getting to your dominant position. Get the out here. What he has to do here is just try to stay relaxed. Big explosive actions, panicky actions are what gets you submitted a lot of times. if you're just running the guy over, Jonathan, he just gets up. Oh, good movement to avoid that strike from the top. It's okay. Move. 
Final seconds here of round two. Well, this is a tough fighter to buck off. Very good pressure and work here by Islam Makhachev. Two rounds in the books. All right, take a seat, though. That wasn't a horrible round, but I think we definitely lost that, okay? I need you to get this back on track. It's just like it worked every day in the gym. Well, what a round it was, especially from a striking standpoint. DC, take us through. High-level striking. I mean, this is what people come through the doors to see. Two men stand on a quarter, chest to chest, forehead to forehead, and let it all fly. I'm surprised nobody went out, but it does excite me for the next round. You ready to fight? You ready? Do round it. three of a possible five. He's hurt bad. He cannot take another shot like that. Keep going with that. Nice. Nicely done. Oh, man, he's hurt. Oh, big elbow. And there's the shot, and there's the land. Nice take down there by Islam Kasha. North south position. While working pretty effectively from the top here, nice ground and pound by Islam Makashi. Oh, another strike lands from the top. Makashev's in half goal. And now, I think he's looking for a submission. He's gonna start to chase the arm triangle. Oh, tense moment here, that arm triangle tight. Down to three minutes now to go on the round. Outstanding pressure from top position here by Islam Akasha. Nice shots landing from the top position. All right, so pretty good damage here with the ground and pound. Nothing superficial about these strikes. They are intending to harm. Oh, yeah, he's landing very accurately, and he's landing to get damage off. Down into his mouth. Oh, he's got the ground and pound going now. Nice positional control here. Move, move, move. Trying to set up a choke here. Ooh, this could be it. That thing is tight. That arm triangle is deep. The off belly. All right, north-south position here. We'll see if the crab can be mature about this, DC. Mahovic's torso, specifically that right side, has absorbed a lot of damage tonight. And here comes the purple, the black, and blue. A definite bruise starting to form on that right side. Waning seconds here of round number three. All right, that's three rounds in the books. We are headed to the championship round. All right, let's take a look back at some of the replays from that last round. Unbelievable to see these high-level competitors get in each other's face, tuck their chin, bite down on the mouth guard, and just let it all hang out over the course of five minutes. You ready to fight? You ready? Fourth round now, fight scheduled for five five-minute rounds. All right, fourth round is now underway as we get to the championship rounds. What is a fighter's mindset when you get to this 16th minute? This is when you understand that nothing is ever going to be hard. This is the hardest round in fighting. This is going to really test your will and your desire to become champion. 
Bring in on a single leg takedown attempt here, and he is able to get the fight where he wants it. Nice job there. The moment he secures that single leg, you can see how comfortable he is and the variety of finishes he has for this position. Islam Akashev going to work here from the full guard. Nice combination of strikes, mixing it up pretty well here. Yes, yeah, smart adjustment, yep. Wow, he actually reversed the position, but he didn't stop there. He took a strong top position himself. Well, he's on his back, but he's landing. Just over three minutes to go. Oh, that's how you do it. Postures up and lands to the head. Oh, his ground and pound is on full display here tonight. Working out of the half guard here. You gotta be careful here. Half-guard position here, DC. You have an extra hop in your step when you talk about fighters working out of this half-guard. Oh, man. I like half-guard as a top fighter. I understand half-guard as a bottom fighter. Don't want to be there. Right. Very dangerous. But if you are there, you have to be winning the position of the underhook. It opens up so many opportunities for you to either escape or sweep. All right, side control now. We'll see if he can advance position. I know you've got a huge appreciation for this. Oh, I mean, this is this is high-level grappling by both of these guys. Islam Akashev ground and pound from half guard. He is making these shots count. All right, 45 seconds now to go in the round. Makashev's back in full mount. 30 seconds to go in the round. Nice. Good work from the top here by Islam Akasha. This is where he wants to be. Buzzer sounds for the end of round four. All right, man. Completely controlling this fight wherever it goes. I want more of the same. Go out there, be fast, be sharp. Do not relax on this guy. We can't all right, so there's the horn. That means it's the end of the round. And get that man a singlet, man, right? Offensive wrestling on point tonight. That was a tutorial. That was every single takedown you could secure in a fight. He did it all the right way. He's beating his opponent to the finish before he can try to sprawl and respond. He's a step behind. If he's going to stop these takedowns going forward, he needs to react a little quicker. You ready to fight? You ready? Fifth and final round. Quick jab. Oh, he lands another strike to the body. Really starting to connect on a lot of shots to the oh, picture perfect shot there, DC. And one more of those, he might be out. I mean, the fight is going to be over. I can't believe he's still standing. That shot made the perfect. He passes the half guard. Nice strike lands from the bottom side. Islam Akashev ground and pound from half court. There it is. Now he's on the mount. Now he's got a good body position. Yup. Wahovic gets up. He is back on the feet. Looked like he was in a submissive state on the ground, but he worked hard there to get back to the feet. Lands a hook there. Kick with evil intent. He is trying to break his leg with every single kick. Under three minutes remain in this fifth and final round. Oh, that strike to the body, man. If you're going to go out, go out on your shield. If you're going out, go out on your shield. Great timing on that double leg. Makashev's in half guard now. Now he's going full mount. Look at him attack that arm triangle 
on the opposite side. When it's time to finish, he will lock his hands, pass his body all the way to the opposite side, drop his chest to get all the way down to the opponent's neck to try to choke him up. Oh, he's trying to block the hips. Looked like he got the hand ready to tap. I mean, look at that. What a beautiful display of submission defense. Not panicking in a position that is very, very difficult to deal with. Well, Hovich is looking to lock up an arm bar here. Looks pretty tight, DC. It's getting tight right now, John. All right, so now going to position over submission as he bails on the sub. Well, he continues to manhandle him here on the ground. All right, so he gets back to his feet after that extended battle on the ground, and the crowd is loving it. The crowd's going... follow-up attempt. The kill shot is what they call it to go and end the fight. Waiting seconds of this fight. All right, so a competitive title fight tonight, Daniel, as many expected. 25 minutes, not enough to determine a winner. Slight lean to the champion or what? I do believe he's still champion, but that's why he's the champion. Because when the challenges are the biggest, he usually will step up. The official decision is now in. It resides with Bruce Buff. Ladies and gentlemen, after five rounds, we go to the judges' scorecards for a decision. The judges score the contest 48-47, 49-46, and 49-46. Declared the winner by unanimous decision, and still the undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world. Islam Makachev! So there he is, and still the baddest man on the planet, the undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world. It wasn't everyone's expectation that...